Okay, let's take a look at uh, a few applications involving quadratic equations. We've seen some already er, in earlier uh, uh, sections when we were factoring, but here's a couple more uh, nice ones. So we're just going to look at solving applied problems that involve quadratic equations, and we might do a little bit of solving a formula for a letter, but we again, we have done some of those in the past. Here's an interesting question and some that I'm sure you've all done in your backyards. Uh, right, uh, and like I say at the top there, um, there's lots and lots of real-world problems that, use that we can use quadratic equations to solve. Okay, rectangular garden, 60 meters by 80 meters. That's a nice big garden, eh? Uh, that's like you're on a farm. Um, I think the original question said feet, and I wanted to change it to metric, so <laughs> I used meters, and that's... Maybe I should have used centimeters. At any rate, that's a big garden. Part of the garden is torn up to install a sidewalk that goes uh, around it that has a uniform width. The area of the new garden is a half of the old area. My question is how wide is the sidewalk? Okay, seems like there's lots of information here. Let's first maybe get start jotting some stuff down here. I've got 80 meters this way, and I've got 60 meters this way. Actually, I could figure out what the area of the original garden was. The area of the original garden will be equal to length times width. And the length is 80, and the width is 40. So the area of the original garden was 3,200 square meters. Huge garden. Um, so if I'm looking at the area of the new garden, this thing says the, the area of the new one is a half the old one. So half is 3,200. It would be 1,600 meters squared. Okay, but now I need to find those dimensions. Um, well, they don't really say that, but I need to find those dimensions so I can figure out how wide the sidewalk is going to be. They say it's a uniform width, so why don't we call it... Um, the width here, why don't we call it, say, x? So really, the new garden, if I'm looking from here to here, it used to be 80 the whole way, but now I'm taking off two x's. So this distance, the length of my new garden, is 80 minus a couple of x's. Similarly, the distance from there to there for the new garden, the width of the new garden, isn't going to be 60, because 60 is the whole way. It'll be 60 minus, so in here I'll write it, 60 minus a couple of x's. Okay, and that'll be the, the width of the new garden. So let's uh, see if we can figure out what x is equal to. I know the area of my new garden is 1,600 meters, so 1,600 is equal to, I guess I'm using the area formula again, area equals length times width. So my length is 80 minus 2x, and my width is 60 minus 2x. Now I've got an equation that is in x, and so um, I can solve this. So 1600 is equal to, let's foil this out, 3200 uh, minus 160x minus 120x plus 4x squared. Let's rearrange things a little bit. Let's put a zero here. If I bring this over and subtract it, it'll be 1600. Uh, 160 minus 120, that'll be minus 280x plus 4x squared. Let's rewrite it in the standard form. So 4x squared minus 280x, I missed a 2 there, um, plus 1600. That's looking pretty good. Um, I don't like, oh, 4 will divide into all of these. So I'd have x squared minus, this would be 70x, plus 4 into that will go 400. Okay, so now I have um, a quadratic equation. And I've done quite a little bit of manipulating here, but I have a quadratic equation 
that now I can see if I can factor it. Um, or I can see if I can uh, use the quadratic formula. I'm just going to try and think for a second, see if this will work. I could use 40 times 10, but 40 times 10 is, uh, is 400, but 40 plus 10 is only 50. How about if I go 50? So 50 into 400, I think that'll go 8 times. 50 plus 8, that's 58. And it's getting better. Um, how about 80? 80 times 5. Oh, but that's, yeah, that's not going to work. I don't think I could go 60. Because that might give me a decimal. And this is the kind of thing that you want to do is play around a little bit with this to see if you can factor it. If factoring isn't an option, then away you go x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we've done some questions like that in the past. Um, when you do it, make sure you put your brackets in so you don't mess things up. We've done, we've done quadratic formula before, so I won't, I won't uh, finish it off. But the question is now pretty well done other than um, uh, coming up with the exact width. But the real trick here I wanted to show you was just that I can take this equation and, given some information and using the area formula of, uh, of a rectangle, I can come up with, right here, a quadratic equation. And then I use my tools to solve it. Let's try another one. One more. A ladder, 20 feet long. If, uh, if the ladder extends to a height that is four feet greater than the distance from the foot of the ladder to the building. So maybe this is D, and the height then is whatever this distance is plus four. D plus four. Then the question says, what is the height that the ladder reaches? Oh, well, if I look here, I have a right triangle. If I have a right triangle, this formula is in play. Uh, c squared, where c is always the side opposite the right angle. Okay, so it looks like I've got something for each one of the sides. Let's plug them in, see what we come up with. D, we'll call this side A, and this side B. So A is D, so D squared, plus side B is D plus 4. D plus 4 squared is equal to 20 squared. You see what we're going to come up with? Most times when we have a, a, um, a right triangle, we're going to come up with some kind of quadratic equation. All right, let's simplify. d squared plus, foil this out, d squared plus 8d plus 16 equals 20 squared. That would be 400. Gathering like terms, 2d squared plus 8d. I'll bring the 400 to the other side and subtract. So that would be a negative 384. I think that's right. Equals 0. Similar to last question, there's a common factor of 2 here that I can divide out. So dividing everything by 2, I get this minus uh, 2 into that. 192, I think, is equal to 0. Now I need to find two numbers that when you... Uh, Multiplying together, you get 192, and they have a difference of 4. I'm trying, let's try 28. I brought my calculator finally. 192 divide 28. No. Um, I wonder about 36. Or uh, 48. 192 divide 48. Gives me 4. But I have to have a difference of 4. How about 16? 192 divided by 16. Oh, that gives me 12. That's my baby right there. Um, again, if, if uh, factoring this is sort of uh, stumping you, feel free to jump right into that quadratic formula. In this case, I get d plus 16 and d minus 12. 
I just found two numbers that multiplied to this that had a difference of 4. Uh, d squared minus 12 plus 16, that'll give me plus 4. This time this is one, minus 192. So d equals minus 16, or d is equal to positive 12. Of course, distances can't be negative, so I'm going with the 12. So the distance from the foot of the ladder to the base of the building is going to be 12. Therefore, the height of the ladder is going to be 12 plus 4, or 16. Let me just write that. Therefore, the height is a d plus 4, or 12 plus 4, which is 16. Okay, so that gives you a couple of applications that uh, deal with the quadratic uh, equation. Here's just one last one, and the, the textbook has, has this in there, but um, I'll just give you an idea of how to go about solving it. But it's the same as what we've done for a long time. This is one where I'm solving for a variable. I'm solving for t, and it has what looks like a quadratic equation, but I have some extra variables in here. Let's, though, try and make it look like a quadratic equation. So I'm going to move the s over to this side, and I'm going to rearrange it so the t squared um, is first, and then a t, and then, I don't, that's not a plain number, but it's, it doesn't have a t on it. But now I have an equation that is in that format, that quadratic format, t squared t and something. So if it's in this format, now I can take and I can start plugging things in to this formula. Unless I think that I can factor that, but with an S and a G, probably not. But then what I can do is plug all those things into the formula and just try and simplify what I come up with uh, in that formula. That's sort of the general direction that you would uh, go with that uh, particular question. All right, there's a, there's a few examples of using quadratic equations in um, uh, applications. The book has a, a, a number more. I'd encourage you to try lots of them, and give us a holler if you have questions.